can see the impact he's made on the audience. So it's going to be a tough task for me to keep that spirit up. Respected Parmendra Pradhanji, Chartered Accountant uh, Institutions uh, President Aniket Talatiji, and the Sabus who are running the show. Today. I hope I'm not uh, implying anything negative. I honestly do feel because I'm very poor with names. But one thing which caught my attention was there was A Sahu, B Sahu, and C Sahu. It just shows that uh, sometimes in a state you get coincidentally people who have all uh, excelled in their areas of uh, activity and as a result they reach the highest points and today we see that exhibited in the Urissa chapter if I can say so. And uh, let me assure you your arrangements are splendid and there's, I don't see any shortfall coming. That goes to you. And uh, also at a very personal level uh, thank you, Urissa chapter, for giving me the opportunity to have a darshan, as much as Aniket said, of uh, Sri Jagannath Ji. I'm coming here after several years. I come to Urissa, but uh, it is only because of this meet today. I've had a very good darshan in the morning. Jai Jagannath. Um, a word on the theme of the conference. I think it is very relevant. I think it also has a lot of sambhavna for discussion and of sharing ideas. Because digital era means different things to different people. But for all of you all in this profession, there's so much that you can share among yourselves and therefore be the premier institution and its members to set global standards in an era where everything seems to be digital. Everything seems to be digital is actually doing a lot of good for countries like India, where transparency is coming in because of digitalization. Now, that itself is a good virtue to build on the digitalized domains of operation, but to share ideas on it and also identify possibilities, opportunities, being digital and getting to be even more digital is a very useful thing. And for you all to be together for three days talking that, I think will result in very good outcomes. And I look forward to knowing about the outcomes. First of all, I think the biggest opportunity that you can derive out of digitization is at a very cost-effective way, spread literacy, financial literacy. And I'm, you might think I'm starting on a very weak opportunity. Who's bothered about literacy? Yeah, people will get to know what it is all about and so on. No, not at all. I think it is the physical, uh, financial literacy and also because most things are already put on the public domain in the digital public domain, you saw a revolution which happened in India and I'm sure all of you have recognized it, but I'm drawing it in this context now here. It is only because Listed companies and their information were all publicly available, regularly updated, and with a certain sense of efficiency, the chartered accountants helped companies to prepare their accounts in time, and it became a mandatory requirement for them to put it on the public domain. MCA portal did it, and it continues to do it. That in 2020, when people were spending too much time at home, and also because of the digital access which was provided, a lot of retail investors found it fit to get into the stock market. 
I wouldn't think it is possible uh, if we were still going to be partly digitized or not digitized at all. It was only because digitized accounts were available and also the public were at ease using data which is available in public domain even on their phones. They didn't have to go to even to their desktops. As a result, you found that the ordinary retail investor had the information in the proverbial tips of his fingers and was able to take a call that you found at that time, coincidentally, when the interest rates were not very high, people thought it fit to take that little risk and get into the stock market. Some did it even without going through the mutual funds, opened their DMAT accounts and they were up there playing in the stock market, playing in a positive sense and therefore giving a picture how India's small savers today are equally at ease with fixed deposits as much as opening a DMAT account and going to the stock market. And that is possible when companies are board driven, when they have proper cost and uh, chartered accountants with them, and when the guidance given by these experts has helped them to remain transparent and put most things under due diligence.